Global Sourcing Council members and supporters. It's wonderful to have this opportunity to speak to you at what is almost the end of the year and a really special time of year because all over the world, people of different ethnicities and faiths come together at this point of the year to celebrate their beliefs. And certainly at the Global Sourcing Council, we have many reasons to celebrate the success and investment that we've made in our beliefs this year. But are we tired at this time of year? Of course we are. We're exhausted. The journeys that we make to achieve the goals we believe in leave us pretty weary. Uh, but nonetheless, when we're united and when we care, we're ready to start again, to start that process of renewal. We have so much to celebrate about this year. The three S Awards were fabulous, possibly the best we've ever seen, but goodness, they were an exhausting endeavor involving so much investment in time, in energy, in money from so many wonderful contributors. And then of course, there were the winners themselves who are icons and fabulous examples of what we believe in, entrepreneurship, and profit with purpose, and people who are willing to go out there with their skills and intellect and engage them to change the world and make it a better place. And that's what we've been about at the Global Sourcing Council for 10 years. Look, we speak at the level of corporate, sophisticated, thought leadership in complex supply chains. We also want to enable and empower women and men in communities that are developing in highly challenging conditions to lift themselves out of poverty. And most of all, we want to embed the principles of the United Nations 17 SDGs into everything that business does, but also into the ethical behavior and choices that we make as consumers. Child slavery is intolerable. Global isolation and degradation of women is unsupportable. Environmental damage is unsustainable. These are just a few of the things that we stand for at the Global Sourcing Council. And if it weren't for each and every one of you helping us, we just still wouldn't be here doing what we do, doing what we do, sometimes struggling and sometimes stumbling, but always, always aiming to get to the next step to help make a difference. So guys, let's be frank. We can't keep doing what we aspire to do without help from you. And so at the beginning of this new year that's almost upon us, we're asking you to renew your faith in these beliefs, your faith in our community and we want to we want to call upon your energy your commitment your collaboration your volunteerism yes of course we need money too but all of these human gifts that you can give to make the human difference that we want to make in the world so thank you for everything you've done for us in these past 10 years. And please, please work with us 
amplify your efforts as we'll try and amplify ours to make an even bigger difference in the future. Thank you guys. Bless you in your celebrations of whatever kind they are that matter to you. And then let's all get together and make the world the best place that we're able individually and collectively to make it. Because basically it's what we're for. Thank you.